know what's in the box and neither do you. So And it's made from China, so it's really yeah. You'll have to stick around for that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is so exciting. Nobody but me knows what's in the box. So we're gonna unbox this. Well mommy did say it out loud. It's a candy. We'll see. And I just painted my nails and I put gems on it, but I took it off since I'm gonna be all right so first of all let's talk about okay so i purchased this from wayfair.com let's talk about packaging guys the packaging is immaculate they did an excellent job where the packaging is concerned i'm really impressed with that not only was i impressed with packaging i was also impressed with the how quick the delivery was and um when the guys came they they i got a text message they called me i got a text message from wayfair and then the delivery guys they called me and they brought the package inside now you are going to need help with this i did have my boys help me with it because i needed the box i'm saving the box to do something with it for zone's birthday all the way in november <laughs> Okay, so there's not much assembling to do. The only thing I have to do is put the legs in and do the knob. So we're gonna start with the legs so that we can get this very beautiful piece standing on all six. It's not four, it's actually six feet. So all I'm doing here is Zone did put the washer on, on the screw and I'm just screwing it in. Here is a close-up of what I am doing. We call this the Holland key, or if you just call it a key, I don't know. Um, I'm just using this to tighten the legs. I don't want to scratch the furniture, even though it's under the bottom of the piece. Okay, so we have all six feet in place, and now I'm about to put in the, the knobs, so this screwdriver is a lifesaver because it's magnetic so it just holds on to the screws now here's the fun part about this um i thought the first knob that it, that i saw in the bag was the knob but it actually came with two sets of knobs one's a little bit fancier than the other and so i i'm gonna go with the fancier one you'll see it in a second and will probably agree with me that you prefer that one better I don't know it just depends on the look that you're going for so the strings that are attached here they are holding they're kind of holding the knob in place so when you pull that out you i'm actually going to just be taking off the knobs because they for packing and packaging shipping purposes they screw the knobs inside just so that nothing breaks off when you get the item so here it is it's really nice let's get a close-up here that's what it looks like and i'll show you the other one in a, in a few i'm gonna put the other one on here as well just so that you guys can see the difference in appearance of both so i'm gonna speed this up and get to the fun part All right, as you can see, they are, well, the two types are in there. I just put that last one in just so you guys, guys could see what it looks like. And I prefer the other one. So I'm just gonna take this back out and then I'm gonna put the other one in.
and there it is. There it is. I'm happy for the storage. Um, so we can use that. Um, it's not just going to be looking pretty in the hallway. It's going to be functional as well. We're going to be definitely using that storage. Hey guys, so I'm going to end the video. Wow, I'm ending. Look at the mess that you created. The glass came clean, but you know, after touching and touching, we have finger spots in here. So all I'm doing is using my microfiber cloth to dust some of the print. But if your microfiber cloth fails you, then you got to go old school. What is old school? Old school is just where you get the good old newspaper and you use the newspaper with the glass cleaner or water and you just clean the mirror. In other words, old school is where you get your newspaper and you spray your glass cleaner and you just clean the piece with ease. So we're saying goodbye to this piece right here. It has served its purpose. It did what it was supposed to for the time. Um, this was what we could afford at the time. Um, so I, when I bought it originally, it was black. So I spray painted it in kind of rose gold and I did the mirror pieces on the top. But yeah, it we loved it and it served its purpose. So this is the space it's going to occupy. Please do stick around for the next video of how I decorate this in the hallway i don't know the rules to decorating a console i'm just doing it to suit myself and i'll ask the opinions of the persons that are living in the house so there you have it guys thank you for watching the video remember to like comment share subscribe